YouTube. This skip coming to you live. Straight out of Real House Six Aquatic Kennels. Right before you is my female Ampelopus Zaliosa. She is laying tons of eggs on this flat rock next to the divider of this male. I placed them in this tank this past weekend and she has already laid eggs. The male has been showing off at the divider, his tube is down. I'm almost certain that those eggs are fertilized. Now in this species of Amphilopus, it's pretty rare in the hog. I'm not saying that people don't have them because there are some people who do have these awesome Amphilopus species in their possession but let's just say there are not a lot of people who have them. This species of Amphilopus can be found in Lake Nicaragua and also in an isolated crater lake called Apoyo, Lake Apoyo. I love the female's coloration. She has these nice dark bars and this silver color body. The male on the other hand, his, his, his bars are sort of faded and he's more of a silver color, but he's awesome. Now this species does not get huge knuckle humps like most other Amphilopus species in the Midas cyclic complex but they do get somewhat of a hump on their head especially around breeding time and this guy has a little hump growing on his head also I'm upset because he scarred his head up he scraped his head on the bottom of that um, filter getting real aggressive at one point when I was close to the aquarium which was surprising to me because he used to be very shy but of course I know he's protected or feel protective of that female and her eggs that he's going to act a little more aggressive than usual but he has been pretty much showing off and this is an open water predator these fish like to be in open water you hardly ever see them in a shallow end of the water. They like deep water too as well. Which is another unique thing about this particular species because they're more aerodynamic. Hence, that's why they call them arrows. is one of their nicknames. And that's why they call them the black devil because of their coloration and their body structure and build. I will leave a lot more detailed information at the bottom of this video in the description area so you guys can have a full understanding of how amazing this particular species is. I love this species. This is one of my favorite Amphilopus species. The Zadios. They're very, very closely related to the arrow. And in fact, I've mentioned in a lot of my videos that I believe they're one and the same species. Just different collection points. So therefore, they, their ability to adapt and their adaptation created a difference between some of the looks and characteristics of the fish, just a few, but really they're almost identical.
Let's see if I can get a close up on the eggs and the female. That's them right there on that rock. Okay, YouTube. I'm out.